Hello, y'all, and welcome back to my channel, Kendall's Corner. <laughs> well, looking at me, I'm pretty sure y'all can tell it has been a long, tiring day and hot. Yeah, it's hot as bejesus out here. So anyway, I'm going to make something quick. I'm going to pull out the George Foreman, and I don't know if you all have heard of them, but I'm going to make some crack chicken burgers. Stay all tuned. All you need for my crack chicken burgers is ground chicken, cheddar cheese, bacon pieces now be sure it's the real bacon don't get like that the hard you know make it actually be real bacon some ranch dressing and some buns now of course i'm gonna put some more toppings up there but this is real easy and shout out to food line for always being affordable all right y'all so i have dumped in my ranch dressing my george foreman is getting hot I'm gonna add in the bacon And we're going to add in the cheese. Now, normally I would actually add in some chopped up jalapeno peppers, but Isaiah doesn't always like that, so I'm going to put my jalapeno peppers on in the end. So you just mix it up. <clears throat> With that ranch seasoning, you don't even need salt and pepper. Now, of course, you can add what you'd like, but you don't necessarily need it. That meat be cold. I have to put on a glove. <laughs> Now, since I'm trying to go kind of low, low carb, um, I will be making my burger into a lettuce wrap. They can say what they want. Ain't nothing like no good old home cooked burger. I think I might be able to get one more up there. Let's take a bit from that. I'm telling you, these burgers are delicious. If you want to do ground chicken, um, for those that don't really do beef, we do beef. We do everything, pretty much. But, um, affordably, <laughs> sometimes you can get the ground chicken at a better, and ground turkey at a better deal than you can get the ground beef. So, I love to make turkey burgers as well. Um, and this was just one of the better recipes I found for the ground chicken. So we got them up there. Nothing else gonna fit. So we're gonna go ahead and shut that down and let it roll. All right, so that last one is done on the foreman. It only takes about, it takes less than five minutes. But I always like to get a nice little sear on them. Some of y'all may say burnt, but it's not burnt to me. Y'all know I like it dark. I like it dark, darkness. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's been a long day. I'm crazy. I'm waiting to pop this beer open too. <laughs> but now they are pretty much done, except we like it cheesy. We like it cheesy over here. So let me take my glove off. Ooh. Now, what we're going to do is add a little bit more cheddar on the top. Y'all, I'm sorry, this is my bell for my son's french fries. So we're just sprinkling a little extra cheese up there. And my french fries are ready. These are gonna go in the oven for, what, a minute or so? 
just long enough for the cheese to Alrighty, melt. Alrighty, y'all, we are ready to place. So I did just a light little toast on my son's buns. Gonna let him put his own condiments up there. He loves french fries. I just sprinkled a little bit of seasoned salt on top. Maybe I'll steal one. But anyway, it's really, really good. And I know you all will enjoy it. So watch how delicious my plate looks when I get it plated. Okay, y'all, I am prepping my burgers. Yes, I love the cheese. Got crust up at the bottom of the pan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I have my romaine down. This right here is a mixture of A1 steak sauce and Heinz 57. If y'all don't like it, don't put it up there, but I do. Mm. Yes. Ketchup, whatever you want. I'm gonna put some avocado up here. And yes, I'm being greedy. Nope, I was running out the house today and I forgot my lunch. All I had this morning, well, all I had was my boiled eggs and bacon this morning. And for lunch, um, I had a half a yogurt, but I messed around and that froze somehow in the refrigerator at work. So I'm going to add on, of course, I told you my jalapenos. Got to have a little kick on it. Yes, this is going to be so good, y'all. Like I said, use whatever condiments or toppings um, that you want to use. But this is what I like. And I have a salad over here on the side. Y'all know I'm going to be using my Olive Garden Italian dressing. And yes, that Michelob was cold in the freezer. But only 2.6 cars. But I need a cold beer to go with this. All right, so I am so ready to sit down and eat. Y'all just don't know. I wanted y'all to see me take this first bite. So just excuse how I look because I'm sweating now. But I'm going to go on and cover my burger, my crack burger, my crack chicken burger up with another piece of romaine on the other side. And let's see. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good right there. All right, well, I hope you all try the rest. I'm about to go sit my butt down and enjoy this delicious meal. Thank you for watching, and you all already know what to do. If you have not subscribed already, go on and subscribe to your girl's channel. Click that notification bell and put it at all so you'll be notified every time your girl posts up. Come on now. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. Put me on your social sites. As Miss True Redbone says, pass me around. Put me on your social site. Tell your people to come on over to Kendall's Corner and check her out. Until the next video, be blessed. I sure am. Y'all, I couldn't eat that second burger. <laughs> but that first one and that salad was on point. So be sure y'all try the recipe. If y'all like ground chicken, you'll love it.